His name's Calador. Jim, Jim Owens, will you please do the front of page? Please stand, please. Well, kind of gracious Heavenly Father, thank you for the privilege to be here this evening. Thank you for these that are assembled to take care of the business of this, your city. We trust that you will guide the decisions made here tonight. They be for your glory and the citizens' benefit. Thank you for taking care of us. Many blessings that you pour on us, none of which we deserve. And above all, the plan of grace and salvation. Be with those not with us for whatever reason. Be with the sick and the brave. We give you all the praise, the honor, and the glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. My pleasure, ladies. Good to the United States of America. And to the Republic of which it stands, one nation. Thank you, Jim. <coughs> John, would you call the roll, please? Mr. Bollinger? Here. Mr. Brannon? Here. Mr. Hatmaker? Here. Mr. Thompson? Here. Item number four. Approval of the minutes of your May 2016 meeting with Pleasure Council. Make a motion. I have a motion, Bob, to have a second. Second. Have a second to Joe Collier, please. Mr. Bollinger? Yes. Mr. Brandon? Yes. Mr. Hatmaker? Yes. Mr. Thompson? Yes. Motion carries. Item number five, reports to your board, your committees, your department heads. What's your pleasure? Thank you, motion we approve, Mayor. Have a motion by Hansford to have a second. Second. Second by Bob Collier. Mr. Bollinger? Yes. Mr. Brandon? Yes. Mr. Hatmaker? Yes. Mr. Thompson? Yes. Motion carries. Item number six, any comments from the citizens? The lady from Mr. Chuck Flashman's office? Is she? Oh, go ahead, ma'am. You want me to come? Thank you. If you want to. Thank you. What's okay? Um, hello, everyone. Thank you, Mayor, for speak briefly. Uh, my name is Tammy Merritt. Uh, I am the field representative for Congressman Chuck Fleshman uh, for Campbell County. I also work in Morgan Scott and Union. Uh, the congressman sends you his best. He is in uh, D.C. this week. Uh, I just wanted to tell you if there's anything that our, our office can do for you, if you please do not hesitate to contact us. I do have some cards that I'll be, you know, uh, can pass out at the end of the meeting if any of you would like one. It has, um, our office number and my email address on it. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, ma'am. Any more comments? No, you being done. Any announcements? Jimmy? Jay Mac? All right. Under administration, item number one, the audit contract with Pew and Company, CPAs. You have a copy of your package. What's the pleasure, Council? Have a motion by Joe to have a second. Second. Second bottle call roll. Mr. Bollinger? Yes. Mr. Fanner? Yes. Mr. Hatmaker? Yes. Mrs. Thompson? Yes. Motion carries. Item number two, the mayor's car. Watch council with pleasure. I move we just take it off the agenda, please. Have a motion by Bond to have a second. Second. Call it up. Mr. Bollinger? Yes. Mr. Fanner? Yes. Mr. Hatmaker? Yes. Mrs. Thompson? Yes. Motion carries. Item number three, approval of the 2016 reappropriation zoning ordinance. Mr. Council's pleasure. Stan, you can write a copy. Yes. Have a motion. A motion. Yeah. Second. Second, you'll get a copy of Mr. Bollinger? Yes. Mr. Fanner? Yes. Mr. Hatmaker? Yes. Mrs. Thompson? Yes. Motion carries. Item number four, appointment of the utility board member. Uh, Kent Knotts comes off the board, and Jay Willoughby is requesting council to put him on the board. And I'd like to uh, thank Mr. Knotts for serving at our council's pleasure. He's done a great job. He served for a good uh, 10 years he straight. He did. Tough. Okay. He did. Uh, I'd like to make a, a nomination for Jay Willoughby to go on YouTube. I have a motion. That, uh, motion right. Bob, I'll second. That motion. Okay. Second by answer. Okay. Call roll, please. Don't make it here. All right. Mr. Bollinger? Uh, I'd like to state that I have a conflict. I work for following utilities, but I vote yes. Mr. Fanner? Yes. Mr. Hatmaker? Yes. Mr. Thompson? Yes. 
Motion carries. Congratulations, Jay. Item number five, Ever requested $6,000 for the Little League ball game tickets. Uh, uh, we talked about it. Is the lady here? Yes. Okay. okay. You, re you requested 6000 but you'll take what we we'll give you, right? Yes. That was, okay. I don't know if that was $6 or 6000 <laughs> So, what's the castle's pleasure? Terry, we talked to her. Okay, Terry, uh, how much money have we got available for that? We don't have any contributions if you give, uh, if you give any of that, uh, even if that's going to have discretionary funds or whatever amount would be, be out of fund balance. Well, Terry, we talked about in the reported budget giving $3,000 to it. You did. How many? 3000 Would 3000 get you pretty close to where you need? Yeah, well, the tickets are $10 a ticket, and there's 523 children on the little way. Well, probably all of them won't go, so. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have money from anywhere else? No. Just okay. Mayor, I'll make a motion to approve the 3000 as one-time contribution this year on. I have a motion. I'll have second. Second by hand. Call the real please. Mr. Bellinger? Yes. Mr. Fannin? Yes. Mr. Hatmaker? Yes. Mr. Thompson? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you, ma'am, for coming. Item number six, uh, add referendum to the ballot to sell uh, uh, wine in the grocery store. Jimmy, you want to comment on that? Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. My understanding of this has to, we have to add a referendum to the ballot and let the citizens vote on it before we can actually add the wine in the grocery stores and that will be any place that that sell the beer will be able to sell the wine and, and stuff too. Is that true we're put on the ballot? Well I know it has to go be a referendum but I don't know if we can do it. I think it has to be presented by a, 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 an individual. That was my understanding of, of, of the impasse is that we, that we don't have the authority to do it. I can double check it that uh, Joy called me about it maybe two weeks ago and uh, and uh, uh, the, that plan has to go via referendum. And then, uh, uh, to my understanding, that, that, uh, that we could not put it on the ballot. My question is if we do not vote this, the, weird, the, the wine still goes into the grocery store? No. No, not according to that. Yes. It, it does. Yes. My understanding is if, if we do nothing, the wine goes in the grocery stores and we don't. Like we can collect no revenue. That, that was my understanding, I too. Is that yours, Reeds? Uh, uh, I'll double check it. Uh, I think that's right, but uh, there's a lot of differential opinions about it. But uh, I checked with them past about like, two weeks ago about how it proceeded, but it was their opinion that we couldn't put anything on the ballot. I mean, it takes, it eventually is going to take an individual. To yep. it. But the, still, my question is the wine goes into the grocery stores irregardless of what we do except the state takes all the money. Is that correct? I don't know. I think that's correct. Okay. Well, why don't we go ahead and do it? If it's wrong, we'll back up and redo it. How many days? Okay. I'm going to back up. I'm going to back up. I'm going to double check it again. Yeah. 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 Voting, on the Is this the, the August election, election yeah. or the November election? When do we put it? Yes. We could probably get it on by the August. There's a time there was check with the commissioner but we got a we got a jury session on this uh budget okay yeah so we can do the i'll find out for you but okay, we, we really need to explain to the people it's on there because some of them like, it's going to be in the grocery stores anyway right so why not take our percentage if we don't if they don't pass it right we will go ahead and hold this off until we meet yeah let's I'll get you an answer by the next attorney session. Okay, I have a motion to put this on hold. Just table it. Okay, just table it. All right. All right, on item number seven, I need a motion to suspend the rules. Uh, number, uh, number seven, Hart Daniels, me full time as an animal control codes officer, starting salary $40,402.34, effective date 6-11-2016. I have a motion to suspend the rules and they are Daniel Smith as usually. I have a motion by Joey, have a second. 
Now, do we need to hire, or can we do an in-house transfer? <coughs> it's the yeah, same. Same thing. Same thing. Well, <coughs> we're not going to advertise. No, no, you need in-house, though. No. Okay. Okay. Right. Right. How's that that motion, Joe? That motion by Joe and second by Hanser, Colorado, please. Mr. Bollinger? Yes. Mr. Fanning? Yes. Mr. Hatmaker? Yes. Mr. Thompson? Yes. Motion carries. Item number eight, I need a motion to suspend the rules on Horst and Faust, the full time and city clerk, human resources, starting salary $40,402.34, effective date the 6th of 11th, 2016. But before we, I need a, before I get a motion, I, I explained to Stan in the meeting earlier that, you know, when you take these jobs and we fear your job, you know, if something happens and you can't do this job, you may be out of a job. So I want uh, Stan and Daniel Bowles to understand this, you know. I'll make a motion that we hire Stan Faust full time as the city clerk, human resource, and a motion salary of $40,402.34. I had a motion by Mr. Hatmaker to have a second. I'll second. Have a second my hand, call the roll. Mr. Bollinger? Yes. Mr. Fanning? Yes. Mr. Hatmaker? Yes. Mr. Thompson? Yes. Motion carries. Congratulations, Daniel. With all, the, with all the respect, you have to vote for so suspension of the rules. Then that's two different. It is two different things. Let's, right. let's, let's break that, it down. It's, it's suspended. It's, 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 if votes are suspended, then go ahead and do the regular motion. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I, no, you didn't. I thought I'd ask you both, didn't I? No, you didn't. Okay. No, we'll we'll go back to number seven. Okay. I'll make a motion to mm -hmm. be suspended the rules. Okay. Have a second. Have a second. Bob, call roll. Bollinger? Yes. Mr. Fanning? Yes. Mr. Hatmaker? Yes. Mr. Thompson? Yes. Motion carries. I'll take a motion to be. Speed rules. Stan? Har. Har. Daniel. Daniel. Daniel Smith. I have a motion by Joe to have a second. Second. Second by Andrew. Colorado. Mr. Bollinger? Yes. Mr. Fanning? Yes. Mr. Hatmaker? Yes. Mr. Thompson? Yes. Motion carries. I'll make a motion that we suspend the rules on the next item. I have a second. Second. Take my bond. Colorado. Mr. Bollinger? Yes. Mr. Fanning? Yes. Mr. Hatmaker? Yes. Mr. Mr. Thompson? Yes. Motion carries. Now, Harry Stan Faust is a full time city clerk, human resources, starting salary $40,402.34. What's your council's pleasure? We spent the rules on it, too. We do. We do. Okay. Uh, I'll make a motion on Stan Faust, okay? Uh, full time city clerk. Human resource, starting salary forty thousand four hundred two thirty four. Have a motion by hand you have a second. I'll second that. Second by hand, call the roll. Mr. Bollinger? Yes. Mr. Bannon? Yes. Mr. Hatmaker? Yes. Mr. Thompson? Yes. Motion carries. Now congratulations guys. Okay. All right. Number nine. Appoint nine one one board members. All right. What's the the two coming off and or is what who? Uh, Mary Stillings and David Reynolds. Mary Reynolds, Miss Stillman said she would still serve. I talked and for the jail. I thought David was going to stay in. David just called, called me and told me he did not want to uh, stay on. I, I, uh, he said he didn't. He wanted to resign. Okay, he's out. Okay. But Mark Wells called me last night and said he's interested if we want him on. Okay. Right. And Joey was on it, so. I, I'm going to make a motion we put the reappoint Mike Stillings, put Mark Wells, and yeah. put Stan in place of Joey. So now, my wife, she, she, uh, uh, Stan's going to have his hand full of war, he's asking. Bob, uh, my, my wife, she may be interested. She's, she's retired from the bank, so she may be interested. Who? He, my wife. Yeah. That's yes, fine. That's okay. Mark, is that okay with Mr. Ann, since you're the chairman of the board? That's fine with me. Huh? I don't have a problem with it. Okay, so we're voting on Mark and Vinny, right? And Mary. And Mary. And Mary. Okay. And that makes you have any short? You have no. none. One zero short? No, we're good. We're good. Okay. We're good. Okay. Do I have a motion to appoint Murray Stiddens, Vinny Stanfield, and Mark Wells? So I have a motion for Joe to have a second. I'll second. Call the roll, please. Mr. Bollinger? Yes. Mr. Fanning? Yes. Mr. Hatmaker? Yes. Mr. Thompson? Yes. Motion carries. While we're doing this, did you do a resolution to increase from seven to nine? It's all here. Okay. Okay. Number 10, appointing planning commission members. All right. Appointed. 
Who should come off the thing for you? Nobody. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, the members, the members that tell the planning commission meeting, you've got uh, me, Joe, Hansford, Sherry Shoes, and Eddie Wheeler. Effective uh, tonight, I'm reporting. I'll look back on it. have more than one council member on there. Where does it say that? Where does it say you can't have more than one council member on there? Not one board. Uh -huh. What did you check on it, Jenny? I spoke with three. It's there. not right to have the majority of the planning commission the same as the majority of the Yeah, I don't understand you. I mean, this, this thing has worked out good all these years, and why we want to start changing and bending the rules now? You're not bending the rules. You're obeying the well, rules. Well, it's, it's worked good. And you understand it's worked out good all these years. That's why you want to try. Today, we want to have a good day. Uh, let's get Mr. Attorney here to the you. And whatever he says. On which one? The planning commission? Planning commission, yeah. Okay. I'm vaguely familiar with it. Uh, our, our regs, I think under state law, mayor or his appointee can serve, and council votes on one other member, and the mayor appoints the other three members. The statute is silent as to who those three members can be. Um, I, I've looked at it before, there's no case law that says that it can't be a council member. Um, I'm not, there's no, there's nothing out there that says it couldn't be. Uh, I did find uh, an impasse opinion saying the same thing. It's, it's, uh, it, it's, it's silent as to who could be those three members. But when Ann was asking for another councilman on the 911, like that's I, different. It's a different statute, different, it's different. It's different, different but you said, that I, I want to make sure you have what I understood. You can have no more than a majority of the councilmen. That was so my you, opinion. You because, because there's that was the same thing. There's no case law on it. It doesn't say you're having to try to interpret what the General Assembly meant back in 1996 when they did the statute. Um, uh, I, when I looked at it, I know when I looked at the um, 911, uh, it, it's silent as well. So, you know, I can't tell you that if, if, if you if the court would strike it down either way, but I know that it doesn't say you can, it does say you can't. Have we been doing where the council votes for one member <coughs> and a mayor votes that uh, appoints the other three among himself? Uh, and planning commission? Yes. I mean, no. Yeah. The last, the last one that we appointed was Sherry Shoot. And asked me if I put Sherry on it. I had no problem with Sherry. Point on it. Well, that's, that's different because the statute specifically says he can put, he can appoint three of them, and the five. And the council has to appoint one. All the uh, council appoints one council member, and then nine and one all of them. It's a little bit different, different statutes. Great. How would it look if someone came before the planning commission to request to build something, and the planning commission denied it, and then? Council denied it when basically the planning commission and the council is the same. How would that look in the court of law if they decided to sue over it? Well, I mean, it's a small town, of course. You know, it, it, uh, I don't think it's all that unusual. I'd say there's probably many cities who have multiple members on a planning commission. Uh, you can go all the way up to 10 members, uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, by statute. Um, you know, and that's a good point. I'm, I'm just saying if you look at the statute itself, it does not specifically say that you're capped at, 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 at X number of member, council members on there. It doesn't say it. It says the three members, the only qualification it says the three members appointed by the mayor uh, shall be uh, residents or taxpayers of the city. So the mayor, three, he appoints three, and the council appoints one more council. The mayor and the council as a whole will appoint a council member, and the mayor appoints three. And I mean, I, How long have you been here, Joe? Uh, a long time, 12 years? On, 12 years. Uh, on the planning commission? No, uh, no, on the council. Eight, 12 years. How long have you been? Eight to uh, 16 years, 20 years? I've got 20 years. I never remember yeah. voting ever on the. On the on never. Not even. I never, never remember ever voting on a. Uh, I've, 
I think I was actually voted on. You probably ten. You probably did ten the meeting that time. Oh, I missed that. <laughs> so that's my, that's For really seventeen good. years, I yeah, seventeen years. Yeah. You missed that one meeting. That one. And, well, and that time, uh, I was originally the first time voted on under Mrs. Wolfstein when she was mayor. And up before you, Mr. Daniel, Mr. Jennings, and Mr. Jennings, and and then I, Mr. Jennings, and Mr. Jennings, uh, re appointed me. Well, I'm just, I'm just, all I'm saying is, I don't remember ever voting in one. That's all I'm saying. I have, a, I've got a question. Why is this coming up now? Well, I'm just questioning it because of the, the zoning ordinance is given to me, and in reading over it, it says that the members shall be five members, one councilman, one mayor, and then three oh. others. And then also it states that the planning commission is not to be paid, yet they're paid, and we're not following the rules. We well, need to follow the rules. The council. Uh, in the previous years, voted for whatever pay that there is. Uh, I mean, I'm not objecting to the pay. I'm just objecting because you're not following the rules. Well, it depends on who the rules you're looking at. I, I don't understand. You know, you've been here almost two years on council now, and you're just now raising this question. Uh, it's taking me a while to read everything. But, but now, when I, you, I, that's, I, that's I, no problem, though. We can correct that. We can correct it now. I'll make a motion that we uh, uh, appoint uh, uh, Joe as the uh, chairman of the planning commission meeting. And if we get, we got three votes. It, uh, you're good for uh, th at least three years. Well, yeah. It says reappointment. So I'm gonna make a motion that we reappoint him, and it's okay. Everything's okay. No fuss. No fight. No that. I need a second. Have a second. You can vote second yourself. You have a conflict. Huh? You have a conflict, Joe. Well, well, I do have a conflict because I'm, uh, you know. You're the chairman, so the mayor would have to say it. Uh, I'll, I'll second it. I'll, I'll second motion. I'll second motion. What exactly are we doing? Council's, council's going for another council member to be on the. Did you for another council member? I think Stan. I think Stan told me that this was voted on at one time. For the council member at that was. one time when Hansford was put on here, Hansford was but this has to be done each and every year. No, 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 the councilman's term, the mayor and councilman's term shall run concurrently with their term. So we office. don't need to do this you don't until do it because the mayor, the, 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 the month after the mayor's election. Mm -hmm. That's exactly right. That's right. Right, it runs the term. So strike the, strike the average. <coughs> Uh, but answer Ann's question, I can't tell you that what would happen in the court of law. I can just say that it's not specifically addressed. It's ambiguous. It doesn't specifically limit it to another council. I, I get what she's saying, but it does, the statute doesn't say that. I know the uh, planning commission, not just the planning commission, but uh, its members and their codes and stuff has been in the court of law, and they've been up here each and every time. I, I just suggested Jim that after the election, when he makes the point to the planning commission, he makes it public to us and to the public, and then we nominate the one of our own. Okay. Try to bet to make the ball. I'll try to, try to bet to make the ball. I don't, I don't think I missed the first meeting. You're done good. You're done good. Okay, let's move on. Okay. Under recreation, you purchased a John Deere tractor at $10,700. Uh, Johnny sold uh, the motor tractor at the auction for about eight thousand dollars, and he come up with what thirty twenty seven hundred dollars. Yeah, we we got it worked out. Yeah, I went and looked at the tractor. It's a good tractor. I had a motion to purchase the John Deere tractor at ten thousand seven hundred dollars. I had a motion. I had a motion. Bob said, "My hands are called please." Mr. Bollinger. Yes. Mr. Fayman. Yes. Mr. Jennings. Yes. Mr. Hatmeyer. Yes. Mr. Jennings. 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 Yes. Mr. Make, make one thing, and for that price, they'll have, we'll have to take probably sealed bids that, that would get him to, to go ahead and start the process. Okay. Because it's over 10000 Okay. Okay, under police department, item number one, hiring Benjamin Lake Gibbons full time as a level one police officer, starting salary, $27,540, effective date, 6-11-2016. Move and approve. I have a motion, do you have a second? Second. Call it real, please. Where's Lake at? Oh, okay. How are you? Mr. Bollinger? Yes. Mr. Fannin? Yes. Mr. Hatmaker? Yes. Mr. 
Thompson? Yes. Motion carries. Lake, congratulations to Nicholas Pratt. Thank you, sir. All right. Dinner's on the lake tomorrow. Okay. Item number two, hiring Christopher Longmore as full time as level one police officer starting salary. 27,540, effective date 6 11, 2016. What's the third council? Mayor, I yes. make a motion that we uh, appoint Christopher Longmore as it reads. I have a motion by hand. Should I have a second? Second. I said call Mr. Bollinger? Yes. Mr. Fannin? Yes. Mr. Hatmaker? Yes. Mr. Thompson? Yes. Motion carries. Chris, we'll be at your house early. Okay. Yes, sir. Handlers, <laughs> okay. Hey, welcome, welcome, guys, to the board. Thank you. Okay, under resolutions, ordinance 2016-02, approving the rezoning prop the Brandenburg property in Little Woods from C2 to R1 first reading. And we need a public hearing on this, right, Terry? You'll need a public hearing prior to this final reading. Final, okay. Move we approve, man. I have a motion to Joan, I have a second. Colorado. Mr. Bollinger? Yes. Mr. Fannin? Yes. Mr. Hatmaker? Yes. Mr. Thompson? Yes. Motion carries. Item number two, orders 2016 through 3 approval of 2016 to 2017 budget. This is the first reading and a public hearing before July 1st. What's the motion? I have a motion. We approve 2016-03. I have a motion for hands. We have a second. Say Mr. Bollinger? Yes. Mr. Fannin? Yes. Mr. Hatmaker? Yes, sir. Mr. Thompson? Yes. Okay. Item number three, resolutions 2016-011, resolutions for the industrial development board. Jimmy, you want to clap on a little bit? The mayor, I'll turn that over to Reed. He had to do a specific resolution for the industrial development board. It's the board that we form uh, to help recruit industry in our city. Okay. It basically, you guys have already voted to create one, but um, when I was looking at the statute, we had to do a resolution to send with the uh, articles of uh, incorporation. So this is basically authorizes us to create it, and we'll send it on the state and have you form by your next meeting. Okay. Have a motion? Next motion. Mayor on resolution. Have a second. 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 Mom, call it up. Mr. Bollinger? Yes. Mr. Fannin? Yes. Mr. Hatmaker? Yes. Mr. Thompson? Yes. Motion carries. Item number four, resolutions 2016-012, resolution to give city administrator the ability to donate a forest to the Campbell County government, the Campbell County Rural Forest Service. Jimmy, you want to? Yeah, Mayor, uh, when we're discussing opening a, uh, an additional fire hall, and we have some trucks we've surplused, and they're still in good shape. They're older, but they're, they're in good shape. So. We're going to keep one up, right? Yes. Eight, five. Do you have your recommendations to Jimmy? Do you have a motion? Does the thing work out? It will. Okay. Uh, I make a motion. I have a motion. Bob, I have a second. I'll second. Can Come. we put a little stipulation in that thing tonight to order that uh, they've got a certain amount of time to, they have to hold that time? Well, usually we do. Yeah, usually you know, we do. We did like one of the time. We did one of the Okay. Go ahead, Mom. Then I, I made a uh, motion to approve pending what two years? I think that's what you did for Ridge. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, motion to Bob, we have a second. I'll second. Second hands are Colorado, they have to keep it two years. Go ahead. Colorado, Don. Mr. Bollinger? Yes. Mr. Fannin? Yes. Mr. Hatmaker? Yes. Mr. Thompson? Yes. Okay. Item number five, resolutions 2016-13. Resolutions to increase the 911 board from seven to nine. And, you know, we've done good all these years with seven. I don't know why we need nine. The more people you get on these boards, the more problems you have. And that's just my opinion. But well, I'm still going to make a motion. If we choose, we don't have to do this, but let's if we choose, we can increase it to nine at Anne's request. So she's I'm going to make a motion to increase the nine month on board from seven to nine only on vote from the council. I mean, to approve it. Okay. So, I'll say that. Got a motion for that. Bob, let me. Uh, right now, it's going to stay at seven. Stay at seven right now. Yeah, and then some more help she's asking me. Do you understand that what he's saying, Hensley? Let, let me ask you a question that throws me just a little bit. Okay, we just got through point two minutes. 
three, right? Three. 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 We've got problems with seven. You hear we all want the crazy for nine? No, we and we still want. We had two to go off and, and enjoy yeah. the next one. Yeah. Okay. Now, if I'm wrong, we still you're still gonna be one short after after the two we just got through point, right? No. Does that put you up to Okay. Yeah, we reappointed. We reappointed Mary Steele. Oh, that's right. We we, we reappointed. Watch, okay. what, what's Bob? Bob's think we're having problems with, with seven. Bob, would we go with nine? Well, what, what Bob's, I mean, Bob's motion was, yeah. it, stay, it stays at seven, but if Ann, since she's the chairman, if she feels she needs two more, we can do it better. Yeah. We can do it better. Yeah, all we have to do is pull. I'll take Bob's motion. Okay. Ann second. So, Bob made the motion. Ann second. Call the show, please. Mr. Bollinger? Yes. Mr. Fannin? Yes. Mr. Hatmaker? Yes. Mr. Thompson? Yes. Motion carries. Item number six, resolution 2016-14, resolution to donate to Campbell County High School football program. Okay, Jimmy, you want to back around a little bit? Aaron, Wade, that was the uh, $300 that came out of your all discretionary funds and carries in a resolution. I think uh, MTAS says it has to be a resolution that says this is just like with the uh, other one you did, just the one time. One time donation. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll make a resolution to pass 2016-2014. I have a motion. I'll have a second. Second. Second to Joe. Call the down on him. $300. How much? $300. Yeah. Call the I'll take that motion. Mm -hmm. Call the Mr. Bollinger? Yes. Mr. Fannin? Yes. Mr. Hatmaker? Yes. Mr. Thompson? Yes. Most true. Let me make a comment. We talked about this in the workshop a couple times ago, but you know, the Campbell County Hospital took care of our big biases downtown. And if you look at them, they're full and they're beautiful. I think we're going to try to take some, some money out of our discretionary account and give it to the, to Mr. Morton and Mr. Reynolds down at the hospital because they kept those biases all winter and kept some of those plants alive. And uh, they did a great job. And we really appreciate what they've done. Well, you know, I suggest that uh, it's the end of the year. We put in how much does it get? in our boxes, how much money we got left. Okay, you need to find out how much you got. Yeah, yeah. And, and put it in each one of our boxes and then we'll turn it into you how much you can get. Is that okay? Sound good. All right. Anything else come for council? No need to be in gang? This means adjourn. You need to adjourn in session. I'm sorry. Yeah, we need to adjourn in session on the, the public hearing. We're not going to go to the Any time good me? Yeah, you need to adjourn the session at like last of the month as close to the month as possible because yeah. you'll have a, a final reading on the budget and then a resolution for any overages and a resolution for the internal control document that we're working on that the state requires passed by June 30th. Yeah. What, is the, uh, what day is on June 30th or 29th? Thursday is 30th. That's that would be that what time you're gonna do that. Why don't we control? Uh, or in the work Tuesday? Well, what about the last one? Well, what about the last one? What about the last one? What about the last one? What about You got Can we not do it? To, uh, uh, let's do the workshop. Uh, I like it. Uh, let's do it on Monday. Yeah, it yeah, won't be long. Yeah, it won't take long. Let's take one second. We can make a motion to the German section until Monday, the what day? 27. Yeah, that's good. 27 at 5 o'clock. Any announcement to you think your attorney said would be a budget issue and that's what liquor or the wine yes those two yeah. issues. Yeah. And the, uh, the wine and the Okay. Yeah, you'll have to have a public hearing prior to the meeting for the budget. Okay. Yeah. That's my motion. That's I have a motion. That motion. Well, I'm saying we have to be here before then? It point probably about we need to be five started at six just before the meeting. Okay. okay. The, the meetings, uh, uh, the German meeting would start at five. Five thirty. Public hearing. The public, public hearing. Six. No, we have to do it the opposite. Yeah. No, no, you, you, can, you, can, you, can, you can actually uh, journey in session have your public meeting at five thirty, and if there's no public comment, you can go right into your okay. meeting. Okay. Okay. I make a motion to do it at five thirty. Go on. Okay. Go on. Yeah. I have a motion. Second. 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 I'll make a motion to answer the state copper roll. Mr. Bollinger? Yes. Mr. Fannin? Yes. Mr. Hatmaker? Yes. Mr. Thompson? Yes. Motion, motion carries. Being no further, business meetings adjourned. Call the order of the mayor for Call the roll, please.
Mr. Wellinger? Here. Mr. Bannon? Here. Mr. Hatmaker? Yes. Mr. Thompson? Here. Here. You just call me back. Okay. So we've been on business. What's the next today? And that motion is yours. Motion to make jump. Please. Your Lord's Chapter 9 is certified. Thank you for coming to this last motion. Court has to pay the board members to 940 under this. First group says the board has to pay. Frank Weston's on each and every one of them. Please sign in. of guests. Welcome everybody. I don't think we have anybody on the agenda, but um, glad to see the ones that's out. Um, can I get approval for consent agenda? I have a motion. Do I have a second? Any discussion? Cast your vote. Wish to change your vote, show us the vote. Or yes, Bain, yes, Burge, yes, Collins, yes, Creekmore, yes, Goins, yes, Henry, yes, Ryder, yes, Motion. Thank you. Next item approval of regular agenda. What's the pleasure? So moved, Mr. Chairman. I got a motion to have a second. I'll second. Any discussion? <clears throat> Cast your vote. Anyone wish to change their vote? Show us the vote. Corey, yes. Bain, yes. Burge, yes. Collins, yes. Creekmore, yes. Goins, yes. Heatherly, yes. Reiner, yes. Motion pass. Uh, next item, item uh, comments from the chair. I have three quick things. Uh, one, Mr. Bain and I was able to meet with uh, MBI at Carroll Elementary School, and we don't have anything to share with y'all tonight. They're still working on that. So maybe at the next school board meeting we'll have that. Uh, number two, uh, we're not going to adjourn this meeting tonight. We're going to recess because we've got our year-end budget. Uh, amendments we got to do on June the 30th at 5:30. Is that correct, Mr. Marlow? And the last thing, I handed out a plat of the property that we're going to sell at Oak Grove, and uh, spoke to David Longmire today. He's going to put together a proposal for the auction. Uh, the survey's been done for years. Um, Reed Trapman is following the proper paperwork in order to uh, enact the reversionary clause, act activate it. If you look at the plat I passed out, after talking to David Longmire and Mr. Crutchfield's office, surveyor, we're going to try to approach the sale of this property uh, by taking the 3.8 acres and dividing it into four lots on that north side of the road. And of course, you got the 0.83 acres on the south side of the road. So it'll give us five residential home sites to auction off, uh, maybe the second week in July, first or second week. And uh, the interesting thing about it, if you look at the uh, just above lot one that I circled there, TVA has a 50 foot right of way that goes down behind this property, and there's a boat ramp behind it that people use. And these four tracks on the north side, the four parcels, um, they sit about five or six hundred feet away from the lake. So I think it, I think we'll be very successful on trying to sell these properties. If anybody's got any other suggestions, 
um, how they think it should be marketed, you know, bring it up, we'll look at it, but I think this is the best way to do it. Any questions? When do you plan the sale? First week of July, second week of July, somewhere in there. Um, I talked to Jeff, Mr. Marlowe, and I talked to David, and we're going to attempt board approval to approach it the same way we approached the Carable property, is we'll put some money in for advertising costs and then to get it out there. And then David will auction it off. He's not determined. I think this time it'll be a 10% buyer's premium because it's not like that Carable property. It brought almost $600,000. But uh, the reason we're selling it is to pay back ourselves for this building that we bought over here, part of it. Besides this, that leaves us one more piece of property that we're not utilizing, and that's a vacant lot over here in Jacksboro next to the middle school. So, you got any questions? <coughs> okay. Mike, yes, ma'am. Um, is there any reason that you chose one realtor over another? We was very successful with David last time. It was very yeah, successful. I you, but I yeah. Uh, there's there's no preference. I mean, uh, we talked about it, and uh, do we have to bid it out, Jeff? No, it's we'll professional. Pay, pay yeah, that's right. <clears throat> yeah, he was very easy to work with last time. I mean, he was very. But that's the plan. First or second week in July, and that's all I have. Um, director's monthly report. We've got a lot of us to bring up. Uh, Ms. Tesley, Ms. Reidner, a couple of Campbell County High School students. Uh, communication with uh, Dr. Donna Singley, principal of Jellicoe High School. We went over waiting dual enrollment classes at the two high schools to uh, <coughs> add value and the importance of students enrolling in dual enrollment classes, not only there, but at the technical schools. So we will get that information out to you guys. Uh, I passed out a copy to those folks that was in the meeting a few minutes ago. Mike, you and Mr. Burge, I'll have to get that to you and uh, okay. Mr. Creeple. But I'll email that tomorrow. And then we've been working, cutting in a lot of time trying to finalize the school portion of the budget. So with Richard and uh, Mr. Marlowe, we're working on that just about on a daily basis. That's all I have to say. Okay. Any, Any questions? Yes. Before we kind of move in, uh, what's the estimate that uh, the advertising cost will have to approach it? I don't think it's going to be like that. Yeah, maybe $1,500. When you get the, uh, something nailed down, you might be up. Yeah. Well, it may not be that much. Not, not a big deal. Uh, any questions for this item? All right. Next item, uh, Mr. Marlowe, monthly finance. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, again, the monthly finance report for monthly opinion exit service. Going to work the school first. Cash is directed at $9713 million. Revenues are traveling at 8725 from the real estate cost paid below the fair property tax through April 9, 826. So we should be 125 more in real estate. Appropriations are 1726, 1326 is good. And the next day may be a different story with all the people pay out to be the main. Federal property school fund, cash trustee, 492000 so probably 8000 on the tax flow is good. And the simple cafeteria fund, cash for trustee, $352,000, revenue eighty-four, appropriate to send in from the state, value change directly to two equipment here at the two First, can I get a motion to approve? I make a motion we approve the financial report. I have a motion. I have a second. 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 Now, any questions for Mr. Marlowe? If you would, cast your vote. Anyone wish to 
change your vote, show us the vote. Fourth, yes. Bagley, yes. Garvey, yes. Collins, yes. Freeport, yes. Collins, yes. Edward, yes. Godwin, yes. Love, yes. Next time, Mr. Chairman, is there a budget amendment? You have four budget amendments on your action. Uh, first one deals with the uh, back pay on the uh, snow days and break days. Uh, the second one is a uh, um, removal of revenue and appropriations associated with the internet, wireless internet services. The state decides to pay the bill directly on both of the four vacations all as it's coming out. Small alignment in the CPD program for some um, shop supplies, uh, $1,228 from that construction supplies. And then the uh, last amendment is for um, res uh, residential student services for mental and educational needs. Uh, realignment, increasing contract services, and decreasing contract services. Y'all want to take them individually or as a whole? Okay. We vote on the first one, which is the uh, snow day. Is that right? Can I get a motion and a second, and we'll discuss it. Got a motion. Can I have a second. Okay. Now discussion. Jeff, I know you put a lot of work into it, and uh, that number really decreased immensely went back and looked at it because we adjusted some of the time frames. I spoke to Mr. Cantrell and he said that we definitely had exposure to those employees and that uh, I think the plan is that you are going to get uh, the releases signed, is that correct, before the checks are given out. That's the process. And, uh, 136. 136. And in the event you don't get those, what well, the, the, each person that doesn't sign the release will not be paid, and they can then do whatever they need to do in the legal world. They can take it up. The person who doesn't sign, you know. <coughs> I'm very careful recommending this to the process. Well, at the present time, as far as uh, this matter is concerned, I think. He's, he's been in connection and communication throughout this whole process. I think he's come to yeah. where, where we're at. It's a, a tough situation, but I think it, that's the, the circumstances that we find ourselves in. He said that there was definitely exposed to And we still may have some long term But going forward, it's my understanding, Mr. Lyman, Mr. Marlowe, that each employee, each group, will have a job description. Finding that job description will be uh, the days they work and the responsibility. Is that correct? Yes, we worked extensively with Karen day there in the Slade. And uh, we're meeting again on Wednesday or Thursday. Right. To try to, try to have job descriptions, uh, hold back people. <coughs> person one week so there will never be somebody uh, work a day and then have to go back on the time sheet and change it. Uh, time clock. Time clocks in all of our facilities and we're working trying to get everyone on that is not certified, not a teacher, on an hourly scale. Now you guys, that is, Mr. Marlowe will tell you, it's a lot of work out there in Karen. We're all involved in it to try to get everybody on a level playing field. And it's primarily, what, four groups? You got uh, custodian? You have more than four, but uh, uh, at the end of the day, uh, we have followed their advice for the We will end up with a uh, job description for each classification a scale for each classification and, and more importantly than anything for us, a calendar uh, for each classification. So you'll know exactly what they were, when they were. And then I can hurt anybody that Mary Ray, they can get paid for the hours they work and they can do work. And so we'll be behind, we'll have the hours that they truly work, not the hours that were forecasted to be worked. Yeah. So it should have never any more problems going in the future. 
with the, but the groups that's um, involved in this snow day, the, the custodians, the cooks, the maintenance department, and some of the secretaries. Right? Secretaries, um, custodians, Jeff, on these times when we're out six, seven, eight days in a row, what happens to the event that, so they won't get paid for that? Is that what I'm understanding? No, you basically have policy in place that says when you're closed and they otherwise would be scheduled to work, you're going to pay them uh, for being asked to work. So they would get paid even though they didn't work before the policy. Any other questions? I have a question, Jeff. The money, these monies that we're paying back, uh, was it based on estimated work time? It was not. Okay. Finally, uh, when we first started uh, a couple months ago, that was the plan, and the number was large. And, uh, so we went back and finalized everything. Larry and his staff put together a detailed listing of um, every snow day, okay. rain day, and then we found out exactly who worked when, who was off, and uh, if they were on workers' comp, and came off the list. And it took like, a great deal of effort and time to find out it. And the move that you all made to um, allow everybody to be off the spring break reduced it by five days per every person. Well, that that is good to know because when this all first came up, uh, my understanding that it was going to be paid on estimated or forecast of what they were expected to work. So that makes me feel better that we that we're pinpointing the exact figures. Yeah, as close as we can possibly get the, uh, the problem as we Behind it. Yeah, I, mean, 
I was using it to freshen up some of our shops and buy some uh, bigger rugs to paint the ceilings, some things that just need to be done. What is it? How much is it, Sharon? It's 12. How much? 1200. Well, I don't have a Jeff, can we modify the resolution to say it comes from somewhere else? No, we just don't approve it. Yeah, it's $1,248. Like it needs to say. The other groups do not pay for their fight. Well, I agree. Yeah. Mr. Marlowe, sorry. What line item is that in? What is it?
items to be down there when you do those as a grouping or individually. Beginning with the first item, it's the CCHS Canopy and Football Stadium. Listed for on May 19th, received on June 2nd, received bids from the one bidder, Mountain Army LLC, $13,100. Recommended is Mountain Army, $13,100 on the bid. All right, what's the place? So moved, Mr. Chairman. I got a motion to have a second. Second the motion. Now, discussion. Now, this finishes it off, right? Well, there's, I think there's a little bit more money left for, I think he's going to add some seating. And uh, I'm not sure what that balance is, but it finishes the major parts of this. Yes. So was that, Johnny, was that part of that $70,000 originally yes. that we approved? Yes. So there's many, some money left over for it? Um, I think there's some. Do you know how much, Mr. Dunn? Without checking with Rhonda, I don't know. So is there any reason we're not using that instead of this? Well, he has to do this before he can do the next step. He's going to add some seating once he gets the canopy up. Okay. Discussion. Cast your vote. Anyone wish to change your vote? Show us the vote. Second, yes. Thank yes. Third, yes. Audience, yes. Audience, yes. Roger, yes. Motion passed. Second item, Mr. Chairman, is uh, surplus 2002 international. Take them all at one time. So can I 
every situation they were supposed to the 12th of May, open on the 6th of June, and each situation, the recommendations to the local. Speaking he spent a lot of money. Excuse me? He's going to spend a lot of money. He is. Good job. All right, Sorry. can I get a motion to approve? So moved. So moved. I have a second? I second. Any discussion? Cast your vote, please. Sarge, hit that again. You want to wish to change your vote? Show us the vote. Corey, yes. Diane, yes. Marge, yes. Collins, yes. Rickwork, yes. Owens, yes. Heather, yes. Ryder, yes. Money, yes. Item D, uh, request permission to advertise the bid for transportation so that been discussing this for some months now. So let's get a motion to approve. I make a motion we approve it with that. pleasure. <laughs> Second. Now, discussion. Uh, Daniel Taylor will help you with that. Uh, yes, Daniel Wilson actually works for a firm in Oak Ridge and uh, he tried to help us to do our own and the complexity of it was to the point that felt like we needed to have some uh, uh, actual group that do surveys that come in and do the whole thing. Larry, did you give me any, uh, how long do you think it will take? I know you're talking to one time. We have talked to Transfinder versus Trans in the group in Oak Ridge, and uh, we're hoping the group in Oak Ridge actually gets the bid for that. Because we feel like their next tool to us, they'll come in and provide the software. But because it is over the ten thousand dollar threshold, we'll have to bid that. But what I'm getting at is time-wise, it's nothing that can be done before school. No, uh, when we got into researching and putting data into Aspen, our uh, student management system, we found that that more likely than not, students would not have the correct address. In other words, if you lived on uh, 268 Prophet Street or Fava and you didn't put north or south, your address wasn't correct. And the more we got into that, the more we realized that. And looking at next year, in Aspen and in our EIS, where we receive our state money from, we may actually have to do school audits every month on attendance to try to keep up with our students as they move from month to month and check every address that we enter and every bus route. They're talking about actually instead of paying on the months, watch Act 3, 3, 6, 3, 5, 2, 3, 6, 7, and 5. They're talking about doing it each month. So uh, we've got to really look into tracking our students. But if we get some efficiencies through the, the study that they do and we eliminate a route here and there, it can't take effect on the next school year, is that right? That's because the contract already been awarded. Right? Well, I'm not sure when you guys will do your contract for 16, 17. Generally, they don't do it until sometime right before school starts. We've got to roll the phone. Um, one of the things that we have, if I were going to do it, how long do you think it would take to go to the uh, Mr. Marlowe, they said it would take four or five, six months to do a thorough set. You're right. Yes. So we got to revisit those contracts anyway. Okay. Any other questions, comments? We can always, once it comes in, look at it and see if anybody or might not want to do it. So. All right. If you would cast your vote. Wish to change your vote? Show us the vote, please. Corey, yes. Bang, yes. Bird, yes. Collins, yes. Freeborn, yes. Goins, yes. Heavenly, yes. Ryder, yes. Motion pass. I have nothing in either of you. Chairman, get you out of this comment. Thank you, Jim. Ms. Faye, I know we moved the meeting up on you. You don't have time to. Yeah. Didn't have time. Uh, the reports are not ready. Some of the schools are still waiting on babies. It's been shown all the and the, the balance is going to fall in middle school still good. <laughs> Any questions, Mr. Palmer? Thank you. Uh, I was ranching. 
EEA ESA for the 16 17 school year. What's the pleasure? And then we'll have a motion. Motion to have a second. Second the motion. Larry, please. Most of those deal with the total special education budget and also deals with the total Title I budget that's been submitted to the plan. Uh, Ms. Vicki is a leader in answering questions on that.
discuss this with any of the past students that have taken AP and dual enrollment to get their input? No, we didn't, Mr. Payne. And next question I had, on that number two there, when you said there's a maximum on the dual enrollment courses, am I understanding that correctly, that do they get a half a point for every course they take in college, or is there a maximum amount? If I, I, I'm understanding that to say that if they take four courses are going to get two points? Yes. Sir. If they take five courses, they're going to get two points? Yes, because we will, the committee thinks that the emphasis also should be placed on AP classes. Correct. They're a full quality course. I agree with that. I had another question. I'm, I've got a few here. On the dual enrollment courses, did, have you consider excluding any of those courses. There's a couple of courses at, at Rome State that don't even require a minimum ACT score to take them. Consider very easy courses that may not be at the same difficulty level as, say, one of our AP courses. Even though they're just half point, I'm not sure if they're even considered a half a point compared to an AP course. That is the reason the committee thinks that limiting that to four dual enrollment courses gives you two quality points. So as a student, if I take two or three dual enrollment and then I go ahead and take my AP classes, the AP classes really works you to the top of the class more rapidly. So we, we thought as a committee that would be a good uh, modification and a good scheme that allows students to take some of both. Uh, I'll probably call this ground, but I'm taking every AP class I can take plus a dual enrollment class. I have one more question. I don't want to be the bad guy here, but I do have some questions on this. I think this is very. I, I agree, and that's why I'm asking these questions. One other question is. I'm comparing students here for college classes. If you have a student that can't afford to take a college class, do they get, are they at an unfair advantage of kids that can take and pay for it to get that extra half point? You, you get paid for one dual enrollment class through the dual enrollment revenue fund. Okay. And then the maximum dual enrollment you're going to get a quality for is four. So that keeps everybody on the level playing field. 
but as far as the ones that can't afford to take a course at Rome State, I mean, if, it's, if you've got a child that can't afford to go enroll in a college course, they're not having that opportunity to take the college courses because they can't afford it. I don't know. Do they get paid? Do they? Do you have to pay for the college courses if you if you take them? No, that's the question I had. So, is unlimited? You can take as many free. Unlimited? No. I think it's two per semester. The students that are qualified. Well, there's some cost. Well, I don't know. No, they'll defer. We manage to work it out. If you want to take a dual enrollment class, a college grant. The state will pay for one per semester. Now, if you want to take three or four, no, they don't pay for it. But since we're only going to count four of those as quality points, that'll take care. That keeps everybody even. And we'll go back to these questions again, and we'll be glad to look at it. And I only had one more question. I would before the second reading. I, I would encourage that if you discuss this with your AP teachers, they're the ones that are teaching. And I'm, I'm, I'm on this AP thing because I know how difficult those courses are. And we're looking at weighting courses at Rome State that are typically, some of them are very easy. I mean, yeah. they are. And so could you discuss it yeah. with the AP teachers? They're the ones that's going to know more about the difficult level of those courses that I keep hearing are very, very hard. And I just... I I just like to get some input on them. This is the first reading for that time before. All questions I've got. Okay, my understanding is on their dual enrollment. If they take two courses per semester, they get a half the course for each of them. Most of them, or they would get like his junior. And I thought that's what we discussed in the review of this. Total of four points, junior, senior year. Yes, probably. Right. 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 No, yeah, no, I thought it was two points. So. That's what I just understood him. The maximum amount you could get would be two points that, for college. That was my understanding, too. Well, what you could get would be, the way we discussed it, the maximum quality points you could achieve while you were in high school would be two. One five each semester for your junior year and your senior year. We thought that was a compromise for the economically disadvantaged, How many AP courses does a student take? I mean, is there a number if you're looking at it? I mean, at, at the two high schools it's different. So uh, I think she said we want for seven at Campbell County High School next year. And I, I just think I heard that in Ms. Wheeler. Uh, I know several at Campbell County High School would be uh, AP biology, AP history, AP chemistry, uh, physics. Okay, physics, so there's, there's plenty there if you're that rigorous student to move up that ladder toward that top two. I don't think a jury would recommend this, right? Well, I don't recommend giving them four credits if they're going to get two. They're going to do a rubber that says four up here. That's wrong. Okay, we need to. We need to tweak this. It says. We'll get it back. We'll get it out to you. And another thing, uh, there were some there were some classes that was listed on that policy that we reviewed that they didn't offer anymore. So we we wondered about identifying all of the classes that were going to be offered and make that part of the policy. I think that's the way that reads. Okay, yes, it is on there. That's why it's correct. I'm sorry. So the four is correct. Four is correct. Four courses. Okay. But it's, it's two points. Four courses and two this points. Is just the first right. reading, so we'll have to get a motion to approve the first reading. I second the motion. Any discussion? Cast your vote. Change your vote, short vote. Yes, 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 Y
for it because we've never had Absolutely. this before. I do appreciate it. Sorry to keep parking on the buses, but we do need to thank Mr. Rutherford for getting some of these problems like during the summer, get these buses up and ready. There's a lot of a lot of breakdowns. Boardsmanship and every member that's on this board um, will be receiving a list of your credits so far. Um, I talked with the TSBA office today, and previously they've sent the records to the secretary. But in order to make it more personal, they're going to mail those out next week. And I apologize for my voice, but if there's anybody that needs any help with listing your experiences to know what you qualify for, um, I did ask, and we do have time to turn these in and get them back for our fall district meeting in September because they'll be handing out awards at um, the fall district. That's in Lenore City, right? It's in Lenore City in September. Uh, Gail, help me remember something. I've got to take my your requirements, so help me find something to take me because I forgot that. Mr. Bain? Ms. Oh. Crystal? Um, for the policy committee or whatever, I've not been, been notified of those meetings. I would like to be. And, um, Gail, did you get me my tapes? Did you get me my tapes? It's ready. It's ready. Okay, thank you. Mr. Collins? Oh, no. Okay, Mr. Sure. Uh, Jack and I have been working on our email, and I send an email out. So, Mr. Crystal, I may, I may need to put you on your personal account because we have reestablished, and I sent one out saying you've got to respond. I got several of them back. Yeah, I got that. We, okay, good. Yeah, All right, one last thing before we recess till June 30th at 530, right, Mr. Martin? I think Jeff had, had, has got planning to give out these checks, the one that signs their release the same week that those individuals are held a week behind. Is that correct? So, the 24th. The 24th. So, we need to really work hard to get those things signed. I don't know how you're going to, you're going to bring the groups in or how you're going to do it. We'll work on the ideas for this call. Let's get email, phone call, uh, come in the office and sign off. Miss Lady, you may want to get things <laughs> Okay, we're recessed to June 30th. I won't be I want you to be. Yeah, see that. Yeah, I thought I had something else. 